Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Sarah Eisen. Joining us today is Torsten Slock. He's the chief international economist at Deutsche, at Deutsche Bank. Nice to see you again, Torsten. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Sarah. So you're out with a, near, a new note, sending a clear message to investors here, and that is inflation is a growing risk to the market. So if you look out there, potential trade war, geopolitical risks, rising interest rates, inflation, is that number one for you in terms of risk to this bull market? Absolutely. I actually think that inflation is the mother of all risks here because we've been waiting for inflation literally for the last nine years since the recession ended in 2009. And you could ask the question, well, why now? Uh, we didn't see inflation for the last few years, so what's different today? But yep. well, what's different today is that the dollar is falling. And remember, when the dollar goes down, inflation goes up. We had a huge fiscal expansion. And remember, fiscal expansion is pushing the economy towards overheating, which also creates inflation. And we also have the discussion of trade wars and tariffs, which also, although it may be modest, but it's also putting upward pressure on prices and therefore on inflation. So combining that with the starting point of where the economy is, namely very close to full employment with the employment rate at 4.1%, we do think that the risks now are rising, that there will be more upward pressure on inflation over the coming months. So important for you to clarify here, do you mean rising inflation like the healthy kind that we want to see in a good economy, or are you talking about something a little more worrisome, a spike in inflation that would have to cause to the Fed to react more quickly? That's a really good question, Sarah. I mean, remember the most important point here is that the Fed has an inflation target of 2%, and the critical thing becomes where are we relative to that target? And if you look at the latest data for core CPI, that is now 2.1. And if you look at the latest estimate for what uh, core PCE will be in March, at least according to the Fed, that will now go up to 1.9. So we are dangerously close to 2. And as that trend continues to move higher, there were some technical reasons for wireless phone services did drag inflation down for the last 12 months. But now that's behind us. And combined with the list of worries that we have that I just spoke about at a macro level, we do think that we're about to break through too. And the consensus doesn't expect a breakthrough no. on the upside to two. And that will get the Fed vindicated and justified that they are saying we should be raising rates. So this is in some sense to your question, this is actually the bad inflation that we are seeing inflation go through the target of 2.0. And that is why we're getting more worried. So you think the Fed's going to have to raise rates more than three more times that's pretty much baked into the market? I, so I do think that, absolutely, and that's a really good question. I mean, I, I do think the Fed is actually right saying that they will hike three times this year and four times next year. But the market still is very skeptical about next year. The market is only priced in one hike next year. So if the market has to adjust up to where the Fed is, that will still be associated with a lot more increase in interest rates, both in the front end and also in the long end, where we've had a flattener in the yield curve for a very long time. The long end has been very skeptical of any sign of inflation for the last uh, four, mm. five, six years. So therefore, if there is signs of inflation, then I do think we will begin to see also more steepening the curve and a risk that therefore the long end will also begin to go up. So how do, how do you square what you're saying with the twos tens, the gap between the two year and the 10 year yield hitting the lowest level since 2007 today? Well, I think that, and that is a really good question. I think that the front end is saying, yeah, the Fed is going to hike rates and the Fed will be raising rates. That makes complete sense. But the long end, I mean, in our view is, is to some degree asleep at the wheel here. The long end should also be going up because why is the Fed raising rates if there's nothing to worry about? Well, the Fed is raising rates because there's exactly the risk that inflation might be overshooting. And once we do cut through that magic number of 2.0, we do think that long rates will also begin to go up. So that is the risk that the market should be facing now, both, of course, rates markets, but also equity markets and the dollar, that if you begin to see more realization of, well, maybe we will have some overshooting in inflation, that will certainly have implications not only for rates, but also for equities and ultimately also for the dollar. What do you have in mind there? I mean, you're painting a pretty scary scenario as a, as as it relates to inflation, which is something that scares central bankers very much. What would the stock market look like in this scenario? Yeah, but think about, uh, Sarah, the following. I mean, why is the Fed so keen on telling us that they want to raise rates uh, so much this year and again four times next year? There must be something in their thought process. There must be something on their radar screen that they're worried about. And we do believe that they are worried about inflation. So you're right to say, why would that be associated with a sell-off in stocks? It doesn't necessarily have to be associated with a sell-off in stocks. It depends a lot on what the exact profile for what inflation will be. But the worry here really is that if inflation does overshoot to the upside, and the biggest worry is that is the market really prepared for more right. inflation? Then you could have more risks being injected. But for now, our baseline scenario is absolutely that inflation will only be going up a little bit above two. And you stood in that environment and still see equities do well. 
And the risk, of course, is that we'll go up to the upside of that. But uh, this is why we're pointing this out, that yeah. we haven't seen inflation for literally the last decade. So we are just saying investors should be paying more attention to the risks that now are associated with what inflation actually will be doing. Well, central bankers sure are. Torsten, thank you very much. Good to talk Th to you. Having me. Torsten Slock of Deutsche Bank. Thanks for joining us. And thank you for watching Trading Nation. I'm Sarah Eisen. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.